Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to Verbling. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on which part of the globe you're sitting on. Hello, Matilda. Welcome. Morning, Arico. Oh, Eric. Oh, it's Eric. Hi, Eric. Uh, good to see you guys. And uh, come on in and join me in class today. Uh, we'll be... We'll be describing pictures. Uh, actually, if anyone out there is interested in the TOEIC test, this is a, another English assessment test, which is quite popular in Asia. Hi, Nyan. Um, in any case, uh, it's more common in, in, uh, in Asia. Hello. Hi, Raphael. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, good to see you. <laughs> nice to see I, you too. Uh, how are you today? Well, fine, thank you. <clears throat> Listening a lot of English because I need it <laughs> for my job. <laughs> okay, well, all right, glad to have you aboard. Okay, uh, as I was saying, we'll be, uh, we're going to be doing one of the exercises in the TOEIC test. TOEIC is uh, another English assessment test like TOEFL or IELTS. Um, TOEIC test is much more common or much more popular, used much more widely in like Korea, um, Japan, uh, some of the southeastern countries, Vietnam, Thailand, and China, and also in Australia actually. Uh, they, they sometimes look for the uh, TOEIC test too. People use it for um, to help them to get a job or even as a qualification for a job sometimes or, or to get into university. So very similar to the other tests you, you may be familiar with. What we're doing today is a very specific part of that test. Uh, it's question three on the test. It's quite simple. It's describing a picture. Uh, once we get a few more students in here, I'm very simply going to give you some vocabulary that we use for describing pictures. I'm going to talk a little bit about verb tense that we use. Uh, when we're looking at a picture, something is happening right now. We need to use that verb to be, ing, verb construction, <laughs> continuous verb tense. Okay, a little bit more about that later. I see people are starting to come in. Hey, Igor, how are you? Yes, hi, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Long time no see, not since a few hours ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, we're sort of coming in one at a time today, and that's okay. It gives me a chance to say hello. Uh, okay. Oh, now here comes a, a group. Uh, I'm going to give uh, Hangouts a chance to catch up here. Just a second. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Quick shout out to everyone. Uh, hi, Abdallah. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Oakley? <laughs> I'm good. Good to see you. Glad you're doing well. Welcome. Nice to see you again. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Dennis. Is it Dennis? Yeah. Hi. Dennis. Oh, I was expecting a boy's voice. Uh, Den oh, is no. it Denise? Oh, it's like Denise. Yeah. Denise. Ah, is is that? Am I saying it correctly? Denise. That's right. Okay. Very good. Where are you from, Denise? Uh, I'm from Turkey. Turkey, okay, lovely, good. I've had quite a yeah. few students students here from Turkey. Yeah. Okay, well, welcome to the class. Okay, the next one should be a challenge. Do oh boy, do you go? Do we go? Are you there? Yes, yes, here. Am I? I cannot be saying your name right. How do you say do your go. name? Do we go? Do we go? go. go. Yeah. I, I was close. All right. Do we go? <laughs> 
Okay, very good. And where are you from? Turkey too, like Denise. Oh, okay. Are you friends? Do you know each no. other? No, <laughs> okay. ju no, just, <laughs> just maybe so. before maybe before the class is over, you will be. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Well, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> nice to have you uh, in the class. Thanks. Hi, Eric again. Hey, Eric. Hey, what's Welcome going on? Welcome to the on? class. Thank you, and you too. Yeah, no, no technical problems this time. I'm, I'm quite. It, it makes me so happy. I feel like I'm going to have a great class when I don't have any problems with Hangouts. You buy uh, a premium seat, teacher? <laughs> Supposedly, I don't have to. Actually, between classes, when I saw you guys last, I uh, did a disc cleanup, disc fragmentation, defrag. I mean. Um, and I just really tried to clean up my computer and checked some of my settings and really tried to optimize everything. So I've been a busy boy this afternoon. Uh, hi, Maria. Hi, again. Hi, again. How are you? Didn't you, didn't you have a class this morning? Yeah. Yeah, a couple, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah, I sure did. Not I so read TOEFL on this class, but it was TOE something to else. To TOEIC. TOEIC. Yeah. Okay, so I'm Googling it right now to find some information. Oh, okay. Well, I, I can give you information. I was telling the class, TOEIC is another English assessment test, which is common or popular in Asia. Um, you're going to find Asia. it in Korea, yeah. Japan. Um, okay. Some places like Vietnam, Hai Nhan. Okay, I can use it then. <laughs> yeah, possibly not. It's much more common in Asia. They they know it in China. Uh, some people use it to get a job in Australia. Okay. This this um, side of the world. Is but, there similarities with the TOEFL? Uh, there most certainly are. TOEIC is much more, it's strange because it's often used for work. It's very customer service oriented. And there's a lot of customer service type questions. But it also has, like in IELTS, it has a description, which we're doing today. We're going to be describing pictures. So you guys okay. are going to be doing a lot of... Maybe I should scripts. stay. Anyway, I'm just trying to figure out whether I should give my spot to somebody else. Or if I should stay. Uh, that's okay. Is it, this this will be a good Yes, there, sorry. There is a lot of, of echo from anyone. I don't know. Could, could be could be Dennis, I think. But there is a lot of a lot a lot of echo. Okay, yeah. Uh, everybody and maybe Denise. I think you're new. Denise, if you have uh, another window open with the verbling and it's playing. What I'm saying is playing my live class in another window. We're all going to be able to hear the echo, okay? Uh, uh, myself and the students. So either pause it, go in the other window, and you can just click pause, or you can just close the other window, and that's fine. That's uh, what I, I I just closed mine. I don't have uh, any window. Okay. Okay. Well, whoever that that I'm, it might not be you. It might be someone else. But I can definitely hear an echo. Um, Nyan, are you there? Nyan, are you there? Okay, maybe later. And, uh, hi, Shelly. Hi, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, okay, so again, we're the exercise that we're doing, um, this is quite simple. This won't be hard. Uh, I'm just going to, I've got a slideshow. I'm going to screen share. You guys are going to describe pictures in the slide share. First, before we really begin, I want to give you a little vo vocabulary. When we're talking about it, first of all, let's talk about verb tense. Uh, I am speaking right now. Ooh. Something that is happening right this second we use to be and the gerund form or ing. I am speaking. I am teaching. Hopefully you are learning. Ah, something that's happening right this second. So when we're describing a picture uh, or we're describing something that's happening in the movie we're watching or the television show, 
uh, we use that form. The man is shooting the baby goat on the TV. Something that's happening right now. So when we're describing a picture, we say, the man is sitting on a park bench. Like that. Okay, so keep that in mind as we proceed. Uh, and then, uh, Denise? <laughs> Denise, you unruly student. I had to... Uh, Mute your mic. You can unmute it later, but we can all hear you typing away. Type quietly. <laughs> uh, any of you, you, you can mute and unmute your mic anytime. So I'll, if I want to talk to you, I may call on you. You just unmute your mic, and then we can all hear you. Okay, so to make sure it's quiet, you can always use the... the if you scroll on your picture at the bottom, you can see there's a little icon of the camera and the microphone. You can do that or up on the top of your screen in the Hangout. There's another place you can mute your mic. Uh, okay. So, where was I? Verb tense. The other thing is a little bit of uh, vocabulary for you. Uh, when we're looking at a picture, pretend I'm a picture. We can talk about... I don't have much depth in this picture, but we can talk about, if it's a scenery, I can talk about over here, is the, f my hands are in the foreground, okay? My thumbs are in the foreground of the picture. That means you can tell that they're in front. They're in the foreground, or obviously... Oh, <laughs> what was that? <sighs> Something about a train. So when we're describing a picture, we can talk about the foreground and the, my head is in the background, my hands are in the foreground. We can talk, we use the um, phrase, uh, if we're talking about a picture, we often say uh, on the left side of the picture or we can actually say on the left hand side of the picture, either one. Or on the right side of the picture, we can see the teacher's hand, whatever. Um, so uh, as you're describing pictures, you know, try to use those words and try to use the correct verb tense. <sighs> Sorry, Shiloh. Yes, the class is full. Okay. Uh, all right, Neon, just keep trying. Maybe it's a connection thing. I'm hoping to talk to you because I think you probably, I know you know TOEIC, TOEIC because we talked about it before. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm going to do a screen share and uh, I'm just going to go around the room, student by student. I've got tons of pictures and some of them are going to be a little odd, like number one, okay? So I'm going to start with Abdallah. Hang on a second, Abdallah. Get ready. I'm going to... Cue up my screen share. I got a picture for you here. Oops, come on. What was that? Hmm. Well, that was weird. What happened there? Okay. Strange. Okay, there we go. All right. There we go. Now, this is kind of a weird picture, isn't it? Abdullah, how are you going to describe... Ah, uh, there's his picture. There's the picture I like so well. Abdullah, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you going to describe this? Oh, my gosh. This is a little hard. Go ahead. This is, uh, is, uh, is it a picture? This is number. Okay. And, and how can we give the, our description some detail? You have any idea? Okay. Go ahead. I. Uh, I see the picture of, uh, of numbers. Numbers are, uh, are written from 1 to 30 in three rows. Uh, 
and the first row uh, contain uh, 10 numbers and uh, the number uh, in order from 1 to 30, 1, 2, 3, etc. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Abdallah, this is really hard. I'm sorry to do that to you. But <laughs> it's difficult because this is quite simple. So it's we have to be a little creative trying to give this detail. One thing, uh, vocabulary, Abdallah, then when things are in a, a yes, it's a row, but they're going from top to bottom, we call that a column. Yeah. Columns are top, top to bottom, and rows are side to side. So we could say, okay, I see a picture of the numbers from 1 to 30. The numbers are underlined. The numbers are arranged in three columns of 10 spread evenly across the picture. Uh, the numbers 1 through 10 are on the left-hand side, 11 through 20 are in the middle, and 21 through 30 are on the right-hand side. See how I did that? I, I used area of the picture where things were to give added depth to my response, added details. Okay? That's, I wanted to start with that very, very simple one to give you the idea of how you can use where things are in a picture to give you actually more things to talk about. Oh, nice one. Who said that? Uh, the numbers are blue. You are ever so correct. Good, Sergio. Excellent. I forgot that. You're right. The numbers are blue. Any extra detail? All right. Let's let's keep trucking here. Hang on. Go to the next one here. Oops. Uh, okay. Here we go. Can you see the next one? Uh, Denise. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing. Okay, good. All right, there you go, Denise. There's your picture. Go ahead and describe the picture in English, of course, for us. Uh, there's a picture on the left hand. Uh, there's a doctor. Uh, on the right hand, uh, there's a boy. Uh, the boy wearing a blue shirt. Uh, and uh, opening his mouth. Um, mm -hmm. I guess um, doctor uh, is looking his mouth and uh, putting something uh, in his mouth. Mm -hmm. What is that? That's <laughs> sick. Uh, <laughs> A stick. He's shoving a stick in his mouth. No. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there is a word for that. I'll I'll write it. Mm. And he is. I think he is looking uh, the boy's um, throat. Am I right? I think so. And uh, any guess is okay. Whatever you think is happening is fine. All right, that, that's pretty good. Uh, Maria, let yes. me stop you there. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not Maria. I'm sorry, I was talking to Denise. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maria, I'll get to you later. It's my mistake. Okay. Sorry, Denise. Yeah. I'm just so used to talking to you, Maria. I'm sorry. Denise, a couple <laughs> things. Be careful. Make sure if you're using... Uh, <laughs> make sure if you're using the continuous tense, present continuance, continuous tense, you said the doctor wearing, or the boy wearing blue shirt. You, you need to say the verb to be. You need to say the boy is wearing. And the uh. boy is opening his mouth. You, you missed the is. Okay? okay. And you missed the preposition. He's looking, looking his mouth, you said. He's looking in his mouth. Yeah. Okay? And that weird stick, by the way, vocabulary, uh, is a tongue depressor. Sergio's tongue is depressed. Okay, uh, actually, Sergio brings up s something interesting. Actually, if anyone was actually going to take the TOEIC test, or I regardless, when we're describing something like this, if we're kind of guessing what's happening, we can say, the doctor seems to be looking in the boy's mouth. The doctor seems to be checking if the boy has a fever. 
Uh, or we can use, it looks like the doctor is examining the boy. Thank you, Maria. Yeah. Uh, teacher. Yeah. Uh, when, when we use that seems like or uh, yeah, kind of like that. Uh -huh. uh, uh, when we are not sure about what's happening in picture. Yeah, that, that would be the most likely uh, likely thing. If we're sure, I'm gonna, if I'm pretty sure what's going on, I'll, I say, ah, oh, the doctor is examining a small child. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. you can certainly use, and it doesn't make any difference. All it shows me, the listener, is that you're sure or you're not sure, and and either one is okay, right? Okay, okay. that was pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's go to. This is the white coat, uh, which the doctor is wearing. We call. Uh, ah. What's the name of it? Yeah, I think. Is that actually? Can anybody else help me? Is that a smock? Would I say he's wearing a smock, or would I say he's wearing a doctor's gown? That's not really the doctor's gown, is it? Not really. That's the one they wear in the operating room. Abdallah, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can possibly do surgery on your prepositions, but <laughs> I'm not going to make you healthy. Yeah, I think it's we call that a smock uh, or a doctor's. Oh no, no. You know what we can call that? See how he's got that little pocket protector thing? I think we call that a lab coat. Like a, coat. yeah, like a scientist or a doctor wears a lab coat. I think that's better. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, more more accurate. Yeah. All right. Okay. Happy to serve anybody who has any questions throughout the whole class. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. I love questions. Okay. Do we ah uh, do go do we go? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your name is going to give me fits. Are you ready for your picture? Here yes, it I am. I am waiting. I, 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 I'm, I'm, Eric, give me a minute. I'm, I'm talking to Duigo here. Duigo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <It's> boy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, and here it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, back, forth, back. There you go. Um, Ta-da. There you go. Yes. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Uh, a guy uh, sells... Chicken. Uh, I, I don't uh, see. Uh, what's what's what are what's this? Uh, meat. A, meat. You know, kind of meat. Chicken. Maybe. Maybe. Um, fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep going. A, a, a woman uh, want to buy. Uh, and pay for uh, maybe um, chicken. Um, it's a um, shiny uh, weather. Uh, may maybe um, <laughs> that's all. I, I can't. Uh, okay. Like okay. Well, uh, now this picture has a lot more detail. Think about how we describe things. We can talk about colors. Colors. Uh, you know, the guy, the man is wearing a crazy clown <laughs> colorful vest. Yes, <laughs> awesome. I, I, I can give opinions. I can say I think the man looks kind of silly. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think the woman might be slightly overweight. I think she needs to go on a diet. I think the woman dyes her hair a red or auburn color. <laughs> so I can make a lot of conjecture to add, you know, to add a lot of details. I can use my opinion to guess about some things, and that's okay. Um, now, when you were trying to guess, okay, you could have used some some modals. Now, these are modals. Um, you were trying to think about. Uh, what is this guy selling? I don't know either. Um, mm -hmm. So I could say it might be, it may be, it could mm -hmm. be, 
could be chicken, it might be fish, it might be beef, I'm not sure. And that's okay when we're describing things to, if we're not sure what it is, um, you know, I, I think the man might have escaped from the circus, judging by his clothing. I can, <laughs> I can make guesses <laughs> using those words. All right? He's a goofy looking guy. Okay. And we can also make uh, guesses about the whole situation. I think they are at a farmer's market or outdoor market. Yes, outdoor. Right? Outdoor market, we can say. And one last small thing. You said it's shiny weather. Mm -hmm. um, we, we probably would not use the adjective shiny for, for the weather. Um, we might say it looks like it's a bright, clear day. Right. Looks, looks mm -hmm. like it's clear weather. We can mm -hmm. use clear. Mm -hmm. Yes, Maria, I did say goofy. Okay. <laughs> that guy... That guy definitely looks goofy to me. That, that, that's my opinion. <laughs> he looks a little goofy. Kind of silly. All right, but pretty good. All right. Everybody's giving it a nice try, and I, that's what I want to hear. Very good. We got tons of pictures, so I'm going to move on. Eric? Thanks. Eric, I might have you describe your own picture. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, is it? Yeah, what is it? Okay, Eric. We I can't. A student asked a question. I always answer a student. So another student just asked, "What is it?" Tell us, please. It's, do you want to describe my picture? Yeah. Okay. And look like an animal. Well, yeah. What kind of animal? It's a, it's a mammal. It's a mammal. Yes, okay. it's a mammal. Is that a? Oh, it's, it's a, a. They call my country. Let, let me define Google. This is a, <laughs> okay, you you can tell us later. Okay. Yeah. I think it's. Is this not a manatee? Isn't this called a manatee? Is yes, right? it is. It's a manatee. Yes, thank oh, you. Okay. It's a manatee. Yes. It's a manatee. Yeah. Well. Thank you, National Geographic Channel. Okay, okay. very good. All right. It's a, it's a, um, a manatee is very very easy to find in my country. Oh it's really? And dangerous. It's a it's a and and dangerous piece because uh, the, the 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 meat for the manatee is very good, and the people you try to hunt down and it's protect. Right? It's the the hound the hunt down the manatee is prohibited by the government. You can hunt because them? No, you can't hunt them because you can't. Police, well, you can't hunt them. Hunt no, okay. Them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Better the second time, Eric. When, when we use a negative contraction, can't, our voice will rise. So I, it was very clear the second time you said it. No, you can't hunt them. Okay. Anyway, uh, what is a manatee? Uh, uh, okay. Can I say it? Ma the manatee. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Hello. Can I say uh, can't uh, or can't? Well, well, I, yes, you can say either. Actually, if you're American, you say I can't swim. If you're from London, you say I can't swim. <laughs> so, okay, that's British accent. <laughs> yeah, that's British American accent. The A sounds <laughs> British and American are a little bit different. So. Neither one is wrong, okay? Either one is actually acceptable. But, of course, if you're speaking with an American-type accent and then suddenly you say things in a British accent, you sound like you're crazy, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, but anyway. All right, uh, Eric, here is your real picture, slightly complicated. Can you see it okay? Eric? The teacher, you could be clear down. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. It could maybe or could be uh, two guys try to fix in the tube. Okay. And what else can you tell me? What other details can you give me? Uh, I can I, I can see uh, a truck behind them. 
Mm-hmm. I can see uh, a lot of. They maybe look like look uh, Odomar. They could be looking at Odomar because they like a, a gas, a gas tube look like. Mm-hmm. Maybe it could be, and maybe they, they looking uh, at Odometer. Is the correct word, teacher? Odometer. Uh, what did you say? Thermometer. No, odometer. Oh. It's the the it's the the machine you use in your car for looking the 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 speed of your car. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's right. Odometer. Yeah, that's right. Odometer. You're right, actually. They, yeah. they could be looking at odometer. Um, they wearing a working cop. They wearing a helmet. Security helmet, uh-huh. uh, in the in the in the in the land, you can see a uh, something like a a tube or something used for uh, a tool. You can say a tube, a, a, a small part you use in the top of the tube. Like, a, like for example, how can you you say for the the the, the piece you use in the bottle, in the top of the bottle for top the the bottle. Ah, the yeah, yeah. I, I, at the top of the the water faucet, there is. You turn the spigot. spigot. Ah, is that so right? Yes, yeah, spigot. spigot. Yes. It could, could be a spigot, maybe. And you can see at the behind the truck, you see a a, a large uh, a horizontal. No, but you see a vertical tube. Ah, very good. Uh, yes, in behind the tube, you can see a vertical tube. Uh huh. Maybe they use that for transportation oil, or more transportations other 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 maybe transportation gasolines or oil or other stuff. Hmm. Okay. Behind the tube, you can see that. And okay. Okay. Start. All right. That, that was good. That, that was that was very good. Um, look, in the real uh, TOEIC test, this exercise, you're shown the picture. You have 30 seconds to think about what you want to say, and then you have to speak for 45 seconds. So you went well over 45 seconds and plenty of good detail. Now, a couple of things that I really liked that Eric did. Eric used his modals. It might be, it could be, not only that, he used a couple different ones. Eric also used some prepositions behind the men, uh, to the side, um, or beside. He used some other prepositions besides saying on the left, on the right, which I also like. Very good. Nice use of prepositions to show position. This, this picture has a lot of depth, so it, you can do that with this picture. A couple of things. Uh, Eric, vocabulary. We don't really call those tubes, usually. We usually would call those pipes, because they're big and they're made out of metal. So they are a tube, literally. They're a hollow, long object. So yes, they are tubes. You're not completely wrong, but yes, I can, Eric. But we would normally call those pipes. Uh, pipes is plural. Uh, there's there are a lot of pipes in front of him. Pipes. Uh, okay. Thank pipes. You pipes. You're welcome. Pipes. 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 And I liked your use of vertical. You said vertical too, but yeah, there's a vertical, a green vertical tube on the top, and then there's horizontal or side to side uh, pipes. That's good. Um, one other thing, their hats. You gave them. You said a couple things. Um, safety helmet, working cap. Uh, those are called hard hats. And I yes, I can write it down again. <laughs> the men are. Each of the men is wearing a hard hat. We're commonly calling those. And one last thing again, vocabulary, Eric. You wouldn't say the pipes are probably used to transport oil, not transportation oil. Or you could just simply say to move oil. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah, that's it. Very good, Eric. You got it. All right. Good, but nice job, though. Thanks, man. That was great. Or move oil. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Eric. That was really good. 
thank you. Uh, that was excellent. Okay, Igor, are you still with us? Yes. Okay. I'm here. Ready for your turn, sir? Yes. All right. right. Okay, hang on just a half a sec. Time to turn the page. Hmm, okay. I don't remember what pictures are which, so it's totally random at this point. All right, there's your picture. You can have a minute to think about it. On the picture, uh, we can see a man wearing uh, a tie and uh, a jacket. He also wearing glasses. He uh, he is on the conference. Behind the man, we can see the um, the um, table. No, not table. Uh, the um, how, how to name this uh, projector? Uh, where, um, where is it? Behind him or in front of him? Behind them. No, behind them. Behind him. Oh, oh. This uh, white. Okay. I'm not sure. PowerPoint Could... presentations. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, a, a, pro a projection screen, maybe? Yes, we can see a project. Uh, uh, behind him, we can see a project, uh, projection ski screen. Yeah, and uh, in, front of the, uh, in front of him, we can see uh, a table. And um, he present uh, something to a la to auditory. It seems to be that he presents something to auditory and answer questions. Okay, it's all forty-five uh, seconds. Uh, you're timing yourself. Good job. Okay, very uh, a few, two or three very small things. Um, yeah. Uh, people, a couple of people made suggestions where he might be. Yeah, okay, he might be presenting something in a business meeting. He might be in a church. Sergio said, uh, "Yeah, uh, okay." Uh, Igor, one thing we you're at the very beginning. You said on the picture. We always say in the picture. Oh, okay. I, in I the can, picture. In the picture, I can see blah blah blah. I see a man in the, in the picture. Okay. That's confusing. I know that's confusing. What do I say? You wear Sorry. a coat. This is coat, yeah. uh, or, or how to name this? Uh, costume. Costume. Uh, oh, his clothing. I would say he's wearing a suit and tie. Oh, a suit, suit. Yeah, okay. suit. And uh, if I want to be a little slightly more descriptive, suit and tie. That that if I say suit and tie in English, you, you then you know it's the whole deal the matching pants and nice shoes and a tie that's when we say suit and tie that means the whole thing a red tie and blue suit yeah it's, it fits him very well it seems <laughs> to be <laughs> maybe is that his own personal tailor <laughs> yeah okay uh igor you pretty your, your your verb usage was good you missed the verb to be once, but then you used it like three other times. So, never mind. I'm gonna let that one go. Uh, and, so sorry, I, it's, my, it's my first time when I describe something on the picture. It's my first really? time. Really? Yes. Oh, it's my first okay. Time. Oh, that was pretty good, though. That was not bad. Actually, I'm, I think I'm gonna do this class again. This is very good. I think uh, you guys are picking up a lot of useful information, and I think this is very helpful. One last thing with vocabulary, he's speaking to it, uh, an audience. I think he's audience. talking audience, not. I think he said audio, or I don't know what you said. Auditory, auditory. I said. Oh, okay. Auditory. He's an audience is the group of people. The place is in. Oh boy, how do you spell auditorium? Auditorium. Uh. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to spell auditorium. Is that right? Auditorium? Maybe. Auditory. All these words are audio. All these words are obviously quite clearly related, and they're all related to audio, which means hearing or sound. Auditory has something to do with your hearing. And audience, people listening. Auditorium, where they are. 
Okay. I said yeah. in another language, auditory. If this is in another language, it's not in English. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, auditorium. In Romanian, this is uh, auditory. Oh, really? yes. Very similar, though, right? Well, you know, it doesn't matter. English, uh, Romanian. We're we're going to have a lot of very similar words because we both share Latin as a common root, right? So, so we're going to have many similar words. All right. Pretty good. That was your first try. That's been that, that was excellent. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, Maria, are you, are you ready? Still with us? Yes. Yes, I'm here. I'm okay. Ready. Very good. Hang on. Half a second. And okay. It's a picture of you. No, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So and you want me to describe this? Okay. Sure. Whenever uh, you're ready. There's, there's a girl um, in a brown jacket, and she has brown hair and some sort of highlight in her hair. It looks a little bit goofy to me, but <laughs> I think it's a highlight she has on the side. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to learn the new words. I, I use new words that I have learned. She's standing by a copy machine and uh, she placed a book on the glass and she's holding the um, uh, the cap the cap of the copy machine or the probably just top she's, top she's holding the top and uh, I think she's going to pull it down and push a button and uh, make some co copies of that book. Okay, uh, and that's And I can say more if you want, but uh, I'm not sure. sure. I'll give you a Yeah, she's, I, I think she's in an office. Uh, there are light yellow curtains in the background. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, yeah, white walls. That's what I can see. Yeah. Okay. And one of those stupid office waste baskets is behind her. Okay, that was very good. Uh, I also think her w weird highlighted looks like a little ponytail coming out the side is also yeah. kind of kind of goofy. I, I agree with your opinion. Very nice use of opinion and conjecture, and a nice mix. Um, what? Maria did there, she mixed up both her a little bit of opinion, which was a little funny, and uh, some conjecture what she thought was happening, describing what's going on. Uh, that was absolute, that was really great. Uh, Huyen, Huyen, from outside, uh, and, uh, and uh, the in the actual TOEIC test, you would be shown the picture, you'd have 30 seconds to prepare and 45 seconds to speak and this is question three in the TOEIC test um, and I was really wanted Nyan to to do this you can't do it Nyan your your microphone is it's too noisy that stinks because I really wanted you to do this um, yeah Sergio says he would think for 30 seconds well on the actual TOEIC test that's what you're expected to do, and of course you would. Um, who who wouldn't? I would uh, highly recommend it if you're going to actually take the TOEIC test. But in real life, if I'm shouting to you, Sergio, what's going on in the movie right now? I'm making a sandwich in the kitchen. I don't want you to wait 30 seconds. I want you to tell me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sergio, do you want a sandwich while I'm in here? Okay, anyway. Okay, let's uh, go around again. Let's uh, try it again. Raf uh, oh, I'll, actually, Raphael still hasn't had a chance. Raphael, are you ready? Yeah, but yep. I need two minutes for think about it. <laughs> uh, how about if I give you maybe thirty seconds? Okay, no, I try okay. to to get it as quickly as I can. Oh. All right, very good, sir. All right, here we go. Here is your picture. Ah. This is my, I think it likes, it's like, like my honcho boss telling me the night, the stuff that I have to do 
in the next week. He say me it looks like it look like it say he say me that um, perhaps in two months more I be fired if I don't do the work. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, in the in the background there is a very very big window with crystal and I thinking that I want to push him <laughs> out of the building. You and want to, to push him out of the building. Oh my I want to kill him. Drama. <laughs> Drama. Wow. Talk about conjecture. Boy. All right. We got a whole we got the whole story here. You know Raphael, are you a screenwriter? Are you yeah. a, are you are you are? <laughs> you you write movies? Or, no, or, no, no, no. Or TV shows? I, no, no. I was thinking about my honcho, honcho, honcho boss. Your honcho, okay, uh, slang, uh, okay, for boss. Ah, uh, so you're you're using okay. Now, actually, you know what he's doing? He's using his own experience his own personal life to help him speak and you notice because he did that he had no problem coming up with material he's actually mm -hmm. getting emotional thinking about how he wants to push his boss out the window uh... Raphael, is easier, I think, is easier, Raphael is easier, I think yeah. give my opinion is easier than to describe the, the, the photo could be Yes, I not even could be. I absolutely 1,000% agree. When we draw on our own experience, it's much easier to talk, and we tend to speak more fluently. We spend, we tend to use more intonation because we're excited, or mm -hmm. uh, we want to kill my boss. <clears throat> we become much better speakers, actually. So I, I highly recommend anybody who's taking a test or you know doing anything a job interview any kind of English speaking test draw on your own inner experiences your own emotions and you're going to be a better English speaker um, so that was terrific Raphael but uh, Raphael I have one thing to tell you okay yeah. and this is very important please remember this okay there's a lot of people outside the room in Verbling that are not in the class with us, and I don't know where your boss is right now. <laughs> please, don't tell, don't tell, please, don't tell any Harry, Dick, and Tommy. Please, don't tell. Uh, okay. Every, yeah, right. Every well, well we don't... Harry. He, if he doesn't click on live class and he's just sitting outside, you know, not joining the class, we don't know, Raphael. Yeah. I don't know. Thank you for your advice. I am yeah. a crazy, a crazy uh, man. I don't uh. think what I say. <laughs> okay. All right. So, but I did enjoy that actually. You know, it's me too, me too, thinking of that and that issue. Yeah. It's it's actually you know it's in a way it's a lot more interesting to listen to when somebody's telling a story. So I I couldn't it was getting suspenseful. I thought I thought Raphael was going to admit he pushed his boss out the window today at work. Ah! <laughs> Call nine one one. Call the Google police. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Shelley, are you there? Yes. Hi, Shelly. I'm going to, uh, half a second here. I dropped my screen share. I'm going to screen share in a half a second, and I, I would like you to describe the picture. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Here is your picture. Ta-da. Okay. Uh, I think it's, it's an office, and there are many desks and uh, many... Uh, and uh, many computers and uh, chairs and uh, uh, I can see a woman is standing in the middle of the picture and uh, taking uh, something like a vacuum cleaner and she has a uh, short hair and she wears a uh, pink shirt pink t-shirt and a blue uh, vest and uh, blue jeans and 
it seems like she is cleaning the floor and um, no other work co-workers are in the room. So I guess maybe uh, it's everyone is off work and uh, uh, so it looks like empty. Mm. Yeah. That was good. So it looks empty. You, a little awkward, it looks like empty. So it looks empty, it looks like no one's there. But other than that, that was terrific. A uh, terrific thing you did is you, you know, I introduced modals earlier. You used many different ones. I, it could be that. I think she is. It looks like. Uh, if you guys were listening, Shelley used many different ones, which is how we keep our our English speaking more interesting when we keep repeating or using the same constructions uh, it gets boring in fact it can become annoying I once had a Korean student who I wanted to strangle her after a while because she kept using the these words are they're called signal words or discourse markers every time this woman would add a point she would say moreover Moreover, I think the color pink, and moreover, and I would sit in a class with her and she would say moreover about 50 times until I felt like I was going insane. Moreover, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, anyway, not good to repeat. So that was very, very nice, shall I? Yeah, if I, if I could add one thing about this picture. Yes, she's wearing a blue vest. It's kind of a vest or kind of an apron. Um, so somebody else is commenting here uh, about it. Maya says, kind of an apron. Yeah, Maria, I, I, I agree with Maria. It looks like she's wearing a policeman's Kevlar vest that they, they wear to the protect them. Vest. Yeah, bulletproof, right. Mm -hmm. Who is, who's trying to kill the cleaning lady? That's what I want to know. <laughs> is, is Raphael loose in the building? What's going yeah. on? I won't go there. I kill her. Why is the cleaning lady wearing a bulletproof vest? I think it's the rules of the insurance company. Ah, yeah, it, it, because they have to pay a lot of money otherwise. It's a very, it's a very dangerous work. Yeah, her, she works at your place, at, where you work. Yeah, okay. All right. That, that, uh, but overall, Shelley, that was uh, very much an, an A-plus job. That was excellent. Very very good. Uh, okay, well, why not continue? This is going well. We'll, we'll take it around. Is there anybody who didn't get a chance? Huyen. Uh, Huyen, yeah. Okay, Huyen, are you there? You made it in. Hooray. Yeah, Huyen. Here. Okay. Hello. Very good. Well... You're up. Toot toot. Uh, you're up. Are you ready to describe your picture? Are you ready for your picture? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Here is... Wait. I, I want to find a good one. Ah, okay. Here we go. Here is your picture. It's a oh, this is an uh, operating theater, and doctors and nurses are doing surgery on somebody's leg, and um, lot, most of them wear uh, green kits, and just uh, one of them is wearing an orange shirt. I don't know what they are doing. <laughs> They're standing around <laughs> watching. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what they are doing with the, the patient. It's very small. Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like they're doing anything, honestly. Okay. Um, and what do, w actually I'm asking you guys, I'm, I'm not suggesting, I think you used a word, Hyun, and, and I didn't catch it. What did you say the nurses were wearing? A kit. 
Kit? Oh, I'm not sure. Kit. Yes. Okay, I'm not sure either. Uh, oh, I know what. Okay. In. Okay, I only know this from watching really stupid uh, American television shows like Grey's Anatomy. But uh, these in uh, America, at least, I, I don't know what they call them in England. Maybe they're kits in England. In America, we call them scrubs. They're, they're, they're wearing scrubs. I should describe the uh, doctors. Like, they're, wear, they're wearing gloves and... Ah, uh, the whole, ah, uh, the whole thing. Yeah, okay. I think kits and scrubs are the same thing. I suspect that kits might be British and scrubs is in, is American. I suspect. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure the meaning is the same. However. Ah, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Neon has a comment by way of chat since we can't hear her lovely voice today. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems to be a program of UNICEF or another organization. I would even go further and say this seems to be a project from the Red Cross, mm -hmm. which is one of those programs, oh. because I can actually see the doctor is wearing a Red Cross badge on the front of her kit or scrubs, whatever. Oh, yeah, there was a TV show called Scrubs. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So this is some kind of, looks like a, some kind of r Red Cross project. Very good. Um, <coughs> okay. We've only got a few minutes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, I, I've got a million pictures here. I want to find a, something maybe a little m more, oh, here we go. Okay. Here's one. Here we go. <laughs> Who wants to describe this one? <laughs> <laughs> ah. I want to describe uh, this one. You do? <laughs> yeah, you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, uh, okay. All right. Hewan had her turn. Uh, okay. Who wants to describe this one? <laughs> the whale on the beach. Uh, okay. Well, uh, Denise, I I'm going to let you have it because I started with you. So here you go. You're the lucky winner. Go ahead. Uh, I think I'm the lucky winner. Um, uh, I think um, uh, they are on holiday, on their holiday, mm -hmm. uh, and um, they are uh, wearing uh, their swim case. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the man in front of uh, the picture. Uh, the picture uh, is wearing uh, his sunglasses and looking uh, to the sun. Uh, I think uh, he is sunbathing mm. under the sun, uh, and there's they are lying uh, on the, uh, on the blue couch. Okay. Uh, And their uh, umbrellas uh, is not open. Okay. Mm. All right, Th that's pretty good. I, I was gonna say it looks like the man has accidentally swallowed a beach ball. Sure. And <laughs> perhaps he needs surgery, or at least a pin to deflate him. Uh, okay, Denise, the where um the shorts that we wear or the suit that we wear to swim in, for for example, the man is swim trunks, or if we're talking about a man, it's swim trunks, or sometimes we just shorten it to trunks, or uh, if we're talking neutral men or women, it becomes swimwear. The the man and women are are in their swimwear. Um, women, specifically men, we say swim trunks. Specifically women, we can say bikini if it's two-piece or, I don't know why, but we say one-piece or she's wearing a one-piece 
swimsuit. Swimsuit. We, yeah, we can also use swimsuit. But yeah, okay. Well, uh, class, thank you. That was wonderful. You guys all did a really good job, and you really made it easy for me to teach uh, various points in this lesson. But I'm afraid it's time to go. So uh, thank you. I, I, I shall bid you adieu until the next time. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, teacher. Hope to see you soon. Thank you, bye -bye. teacher. Have thank a nice you. day. Bye bye. Take care. Huyen, are you there? No. Who? No, Huyen. I was just going <laughs> to ask her what she, what she okay. says in the chat box. Okay. Thank you very uh, much. Goodbye. Okay. Bye bye. See you, Marie.